of cybersecurity in Israel. She claims she is the grandmother, Professor Rivka Karmi, the president of BGU University. Twelve years ago, BGU started to run cyber activity in the university. I think it was for Deutsche Telekom, right, Rivka? And today, how many people are uh, in your cyber? Uh, come over. Come over, and I hope. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, professor, president, mother of the cyber, Rivka Kami. Rivka, uh, how many people are now working in, uh, in uh, BGU for Deutsche Telekom? Well, I'll tell you how many people are working in our high-tech park. This I know, about half of them. <laughs> so we have close to 1,500 uh, engineers in the park right now, and I would say that about two-thirds of them are, are Ben Gurion University. Uh, That's graduates. amazing, 15, 15, 1,500 people. Hundreds, yeah. And when the park was uh, established? Three years ago. Three years ago, 1,500. Not bad, not bad for a university in Beersheba. 40 years ago, Beersheba was a quite, quite a sleepy uh, town. peripheral town. And it was mainly known for the Bedouin uh, market, which took place every Wednesday, right? Thursday. Thursday. And Beersheba was responsible for uh, closing the attempt to do car manufacturing in Israel because at that time somebody tried to create a car, Israeli car out of uh, fiberglass we'll and a time. camel ate the, ate the car in Beersheba and this was the end of the industry. <laughs> so now we are replacing it with cyber. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Rivka Kami. Thank you so much, Yossi. You're an incredible friend, and after you've managed to warm up this wonderful audience, I'll be a little bit more formal. So, distinguished guests, dear audience, good morning and welcome. It is a great privilege for Ben Gurion University to sponsor this international conference from its inception three years ago, and watch it expanding now to present Israel all over the world we have now one in Singapore, in LA, in Toronto, and I think we are going to keep expanding with the years to come. Indeed, this is a natural fit as Ben Gurion University in the Negev has become a world academic leader in applied cyber technology research and teaching. With a research center in collaboration with Israel National Cyber Bureau, that among other things, among many other things, is focusing on the security of Internet of Things. We cyber track in advanced undergraduate studies in computer sciences with the first master's program in cyber security in Israel and with a new international summer program in big data, data mining, business intelligence. Ben Gurion University is in the heart of the amazing technological development in the Negev, which has led to a recent international declaration of Be'er Sheva as being one of seven future global cities in the world. The robust, unique collaboration of a commi committed government, led enthusiastically, I might say, by Prime Minister Netanyahu, a determined city led by Mayor Danilovich, and a high-quality, innovative university building on strong research capabilities in information technology acquired, as you have heard, through more than a decade cooperation and crucial investment by Deutsche Telekom. An ecosystem is being created in the Advanced Technology Park in Beersheba that is rapidly being built by Gaviam Negev. This is, uh, but it is thanks to the multinational companies that chose to be part of the great vision in the Negev that this ecosystem is now becoming a model for what can be achieved when the government, academia, and the private sector team up to implement a vision, and in this case, to create a center of knowledge and innovation in a field 
that is and will continuously impact our lives all over the world as we keep the incredible pace of technological development. A leading un research university in the Negev, the youngest in Israel, that is ranked 39th in utility among the world's top technological universities, among the 100 leading universities in utility patents, among the 100 uni leading universities in cyber research scientific publications. And this year was ranked 18 among the leading universities under 50 years of age. This university is a national engine in developing the Negev, the future of Israel. I feel so fortunate to be part of building a future where the university will double its size in terms of land and infrastructure and scope of research within the field of homeland security in general, quantum technology and more. And a high-tech park that will double its current 1,500 engin engineers in three years and will grow to 10,000 in a decade. And the city of Be'er Sheva that will become obviously high-tech global metropolitan and cyber capital for Israel and at least the Middle East. I want to thank all of our great partners in vision and implementation in the Prime Minister office, the Cyber Bureau, CyberSparks, and all the multinational companies in our park, Gevyam Negev, City of Be'er Sheva, and first and foremost, Ben Gurion University, great scientists and extremely talented students and innovators, and my incredible partners in the university leadership. Thank you very much, and enjoy this wonderful conference.